Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. Well, as you can see, I'm back at the shelter. I'm working on the drain again. Um, I got some good ideas from some of my subscribers as far as making like a French drain where it drains through a bunch of rocks. Um, anyway, I'll show you what I've got done with that. But I'm going to take an opportunity today to talk about something else. Uh, one of my subscribers asked about this UCO mini light lantern candle lantern and so I'm going to talk about this a little bit just to answer his questions so this UCO mini candle lantern is a smaller version of UCO's classic candle lantern which uses you know like a nine hour candle this one uses tea lights now when I pack it in this box I put in extra tea lights because the tea lights are supposed to last four hours but I've never had them last that long. And so I load up some extra ones. So I put one in the bottom here. And inside the candle lantern, I've got five more, five more, four more. One, one, two, three, four, and then five. So there's five there and one more is six. Now the way to use this candle lantern is to unscrew the bottom. So the bottom unscrews. There's the glass. There's my extra tea lights. And there's three little clips on the base and they hold this tea light in place. So what you do is you light this up. Got a butane torch here. Light that up. Put it on the glass. And you can slide this right over. And then you just give it a twist to lock it to the base. Now, this has a bail handle, so you can hang it. And the idea behind these isn't so much that they keep you warm. Um, a single tea light, this says, it's 450 BTUs. British thermal units. So whatever 450 BTUs is, that's what one candle does. Now, uh, the case is made out of aluminum, so it won't rust. And then this top cap is made out of stainless steel. And that actually gets quite hot. So you have to be careful that you don't touch that when the candle is burning. The idea behind these candles is to remove any condensation inside a tent. So basically you would hang this up near the top of the tent where the vents are and it would cause a circulation of air to flow out of the vents at the top. And so any dampness that happened to be in the air from you exhaling or whatever, that would be carried outside. So when you wake up in the morning, your walls wouldn't be all damp or anything. So that's the idea. So they're pretty simple. The glass is fragile, but you can order extras if you happen to break one. Um, but anyway, that's another reason why I carry it inside this cardboard packaging. It's just to um, protect the glass from any damage. So I'm going to let that burn for a while. See what time it is now. Okay, it says it's 124. I don't know if you can see that. 124, so it's, that's in the afternoon. And um, this wasn't a fresh candle. There was a bit of a dent in it. So I had run it before. So I'm not sure how long it'll last. But we're going to let it go. And uh, I'm going to do some work around here. And we'll check back in an hour or so. For the drain, I got a section of drain pipe. It's corrugated and it expands to six feet. So it starts here with a square flange 
And on the outside, we've got the round end of the pipe. And that's followed by some loose stones. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring another pail of stones and put it at the end here. And then I've got this section of tarp that I'm going to lay on top of that to keep the dirt out from between the stones. So that will give me six, um, about eight feet or so of drainage. So that should help. Oh yes, the last time I was out, I brought a carpenter's level and verified that the drain is going downhill. So there won't be any surprises. Or there shouldn't be. So until I get those other stones here, I'm just going to lay this on top of the stones. Put a couple on top of there just to keep the tarp from blowing away. And I'm going to lay some twigs across there too. Just to try to keep curious animals out of it. Just anchoring the bottoms of these dead trees that I'm using for camouflage. Got them fastened to a line above. So I just want to anchor them here. Once I get these major ones anchored, then I'll be able to put other smaller branches in between them. So once I get that wall filled in, it'll help hide my shelter from the rear. Getting a little closer here, you can see that about the five foot level, there's some paracord that runs across. Everything's tied to it. And now that these are anchored, what I'll do is I'll run another paracord at about half that height through here, wrap it around these, and then I can weave other branches in there to make a better camouflage fence. I still have to do some work on this side as well. It's a little thin there, but it's coming along. Slow but sure. Okay, it looks like the candle may have burnt itself out. No, not quite. Just, okay, now it's out. It kind of drowned in a pool of wax there. Now, as I said before, I've never found that these tea lights last four hours.
what I'll yeah. what I need to do with this one because it's sitting in a pool of wax is I need to let it harden before I move it around much otherwise it'll spill out um, and then once that happens what I'll do is I'll straighten up the wick and uh, reuse the candle now the other UCO candle lantern the uh, classic one it comes with a candle that's about that long and quite fat too and they say that it burns for nine hours well in my experience it's burnt for a good 11 hours uh, so long as you don't spill the wax when it's wet or in a liquid form so anyway that's about it for today um, I'm gonna head back and uh, we'll see you in the next one this is Muskrat Jim signing out For more Muskrat Survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to click the bell to receive notifications of newly uploaded videos on this channel.